Okay, in the finals. Uh, definitely gonna keep this hand. Um, he's not here yet. But he looks like a polite guy. He's Pito Martinez. I could look at his thing while I'm around. His deck is probably stupid good. Darn it. I hate it when I click that one. Quit replay. Quit that replay. Uh, that. You round, round two. That. I oh, won in two games. I think he was playing black something. Oh, he's got the, the zombie deck. My Justicar will do work. Oh, he's playing the... He's playing black-white. That's awesome. Black-white aggro with Taskmaster and stuff. Defang is good against Taskmaster. Okay. I would I like to mulligan? No. Defang would be good. It's funny that the black-white decks are the ones in the finals. F6. Turn 3 Angels, turn turn 4 Riders of Gavany. Naming probably Demon or something. Curving out like a boss. Taskmaster, yep. Defang, aww. Attack us for four, so we're gonna just have to race. Yeah, it's funny how it's black white. Cast a creature that doesn't have undying. Oh. Someone's gonna kill my blood artist. Or not. So he's going to sack that. And in exchange for two life, he will kill my blood artist. And he's going to attack. I will Deathwind it. Thank you, stabilized. Next, we can cast a spectral gate guards. Swing with vigilante dudes. Nom 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 nom, yeah. Cast another zombie. Do it. I think I took the, the, the white cards and he took the black ones. I think I'll leave up Necrobite. Just because it seems like... Like, he's got six mana and three cards. It means he wants to do something. There you go. It's a good thing. 
Good thing I didn't cast Spectral Gate Guard. His deck looks fun. So he's got four cards in hand. Slow roll and stuff. Luckily we got spectral gate guards. And any creature we draw immediately lightning bolts him. Ooh. Ooh. Rave exchange getting back his dude. I have to sack my guy. Jeez. So rough. What would I like? A creature. Non-land. Of course. She taxes for two, casts a four, three. Alright, he pulled away really quick. God, deck. Why? Lost us the game. It did. That sucks. Luckily, it's an eight-four. I get to pay for another draft, which is yes. Stall the board like a champ. Get a creature. So he's gonna cast his Taskmaster, so he can sack his Gold Knight Redeemer. I'm gonna get a creature attack with Angel's Tomb. So I said that's all sacrifice, because I was like, oh, finally get to play Necrobite, it's gonna be great. Taskmaster. Creature? Okay. I want to make it be a creature. I mean, if I attack, he just blocks there. So, no, I will not use the ability. Sacrifice his Golden Knight Redeemer. Now he finally commits to the board. And wins the game. Sweet! Yeah, drawing lands. Okay. So he's playing Barter and Blood in that black deck. So I'm actually going to play this on Hollowed Pact. Take out uh, Moonlight Geist. Put in Cloud Shift. And put in Mental Agony, take out Tormentor's Trident. Okay, on to game two. Yes, I will play first. No, I will not mulligan. Double Deathwind. We'll do some serious work. F6. Seraph Sanctuary did so much work that last game. It's brilliant. Six. Like a champ. I should have played the swamp there. I mean, I wouldn't have killed Taskmaster. Okay, so he's just trying to bait us out now. So you know what I'm going to do? He wants to play Barter and Blood? He can. Hopefully I get a little dork I can play. Oh. That works. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be playing creatures, so... 
Normally this is good when they have fewer cards in hand, but he didn't, so... Get rid of a Splashed Mountain, and Swamp, and he loses to life. So he's got, he definitely has Barter and Blood and Creatures and stuff. I'm not just gonna let him, you know, cast stuff for free. You see now, I either Death Wind or cast a Riders with Cloud Shift up. Mm, yeah, I will. I will take three damage. And I think I'll stick with Zombie. He's got more of them. I'm like, okay, sure. Cast another dude. Okay, now I start killing stuff. Um, cast Defang on Seraph. Choosing Angel would have actually been the right play. And we'll just definitely his, him his emancipation angel. Use the white mana. Go Harvester of Souls with Cloud Ship Mana. Cloud Ship doesn't do squat, does it? But I will draw two cards. Awesome. Fantastic. Cast a Demonic Taskmaster, I dare you. He did! Aww. I'm actually gonna cast Defang on it, instead of just Deathwinding it, because he has a second creature other than... Do some work, Sarah. Gain me some life. Should have left a black up, but hey, look, you get to sacrifice your dude! Yay! Does he have the grave exchange? Wow, nice type of tech. That was that was key. Mine wins the race. Not really. Yeah, no. Does he have the barter in blood? Oh, I, I would really like to draw the fight death right now. Get me a Harvester of Souls again. Four, five, six.
Go, go, powerful creature. He's gonna cast his Taskmaster again. Would love to draw defense. Oh, that works. Draw Defy Death, and I'm very, very, very happy. I mean, that'll do. Either way, he was taking two. Um, we got a ghoul to trade with his Taskmaster. Kinda wish I'd taken a couple more to five deaths. Seven. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh. Ouchin. Okay, well, I'm okay with getting four packs. Yeah. I mean, what are our outs here? Herald of War. Jeez, no wonder his deck one. Yay, Blood Artist. I'm pretty sure we're not getting this game. I mean, we have to... Removal right now, he's got four cards in hand. Oh, look, we got a Gristle Brand avatar. And four packs? This one that. Oh, if you win, you get the other one. Oh, well, four packs. I did not get to show how amazing Demonic Rising was, which is unfortunate, but I got to show how good Herald of War is. And Harvester Soul drew me two cards. Thank you guys for watching.